Hey y'all, this is Infamous here coming to you with another gameplay of The Wolf Among Us, Episode 3. Let's get this shit started. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city... Everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> It's Crane. Motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I, just I think he forgot their phone is cut. What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <laughs> Bigby, calm down. I'm just laughing. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Because remember last episode, the, I checked to see, the, see that phone and it was she cut. Took to the business That's funny. To prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap. And I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way oh, out. Oh, you want to get mad about beauty? Big B! We get Beast you over here drinking, drinking drinks. Wait. What? Double Snow's... standards. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. My girl, bye. friends, but few fables she was truly close to. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't, um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it it will never subside. I wonder if I'm if but I'm just supposed to wait after she finishes. The memory of Lily will sustain as well. And it will, in time, equal in strength to our mourning her loss. 
And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about what you've all been so grateful to share with me. Your memories of her. How she could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the old ways, for tradition, for, um, pageantry. And most of all, it seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. I don't want to interrupt the funeral. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. So talk. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Well, I mean, you still don't really never up. known your don't sister that long, anybody. girl. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Crane. Yeah? I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I <laughs> really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. 
Deposing Crane would be the next step. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, um, uh, coming! Hmm. I, I think I'm, I really, I really want to make, like, a different, um, alternate wait, wait, wait. like Easy alternate now, choices girl. video you know how this goes the first thing in a visit you say how do you do how do you do that way it's proper what are you doing here that is the question isn't it or at least a question i'm still hurting you know from our talk in the cell and I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Look, I'm gonna let now, them fight. Daddy, it was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. Yeah, listen to your lady love. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Ooh. Holly! Oh no. Ah, I got it done. Oh my gosh. She's there?
I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> Keep it, get body. Let me stop. Don't go looking for any more <laughs> fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. You know, uh, you just gotta play it off sometimes. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. You know, Snow White is getting turned on by this. We can't. Mm -mm. Yep. <laughs> so. See, she she cat. just swiped her hair. She's like, wait a minute. Magic Ooh. Mirror, <laughs> and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. Her. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together. It'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But, I, I don't know. That's the plan? Just wait for the mirror? It's all we have right now. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. What isn't adding up for me is Faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's, he was a conniver, a, a coward. A liar. Mm -hmm. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I'm glad you were there. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. No, she's gonna be he held in that grudge off Can of me. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I, I don't want to offend you, but after tonight... Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I shouldn't have said anything. Forget that I did. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. For what, Buffkin? What? 
We sit around and wait until we it make a fake, itself. maybe. We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No, we can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still Birth solve this can. ourselves. I Buff can. Mind that. Come uh -uh. Up look. You don't need to get smart now. You know, uh -uh. Don't be reading Snow White. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Look, I want to give people hope. I'm just saying, you know, they sit here trying to make me like, I'm this bad, really bad, bad wolf that he doesn't have no heart. Like, look, Bigby got a heart. He loves snow. He cares about snow. And he cares about other people. He wouldn't, <laughs> even if he's a wolf, he's not a, a wolf in sheep's clothing though, you know? There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He always be hungover. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see and if And plus, you know what he looks like to me right it, now? Okay? He looks like Kratos from God of War. Well, you did, and I know. The you sound like them the too. Bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. You're not needed here. Just ignore him. Ignore me? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well, then. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> Ugh. 
All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. 2 a.m. Piece of cake. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address, or a phone number, or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look. Chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so. chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out, never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of uh, couch no. cushions. Please. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Ooh, okay then. Well, I'm gonna stop it right here. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and hope to see y'all for the next Wolf Among Us. Take care.